Morning, Flora. How are you today? I'm fine. Jesse, what exactly is going on? Does the boss realize it's literally day two of payday? Lydia, we've been at this since morning. He's saying that the clients are delaying on payment. And how exactly is that my business? I was asked to come in here yesterday. I came here. Nothing. I've come here again today. Nothing. Stories, stories, stories. What is really going on? You're not the only one affected. You. Everybody is, including myself. You know what? Can I see the boss? I need to see him myself and ask him what exactly is going on. Shoots have been done weeks ago. Why can't I be paid? I mean, this is completely unacceptable. I have bills to pay. Calm down, Flora. Everybody has bills to pay. Hmm? He has put everyone on operation retrieve debts. Give him till next week. He should be able to sort you out. Next week? Oh, come on, Tessie. You know this isn't how this works. This is completely unprofessional. Trust me, I know how you feel. You know what? I'm not even staying here today. If I won't get paid, then I'm taking the day off. Not so fast, Flora. Wait. What? Has a salary come in? I wish. <laughs> you have a booking for a runway show. Not interested. Bro, oh, you know you're not you're not allowed to, you know, turn down opportunities such as this. Well, I am turning it down. I will turn down photo shoots, runway shows, video shoots, anything until I get paid. And you know what? Tell the boss this is exactly what I said. I don't care. My darling, my baby, my love, tell me, what's wrong? Wait, don't tell me it's because of your salary. It is. You haven't been paid? No. I'm surprised up until now you've not gotten anything. You've not, not even part payments or anything the like that. The office sent us an email yesterday saying that my colleagues and I were going to be paid. We got to the office, nothing. Same thing again today. They sent us an email this morning, we'd be paid. We've gotten to the office, I'm obviously back, and I still haven't been paid. And what about the other models? Kenneth, are you even listening to me? I said my colleagues and I, they haven't been paid. <clears throat> okay. Just be patient with him. Your boss, that is. Be patient. I have expenses. I need money. Maybe we all do. All right, relax. He's gonna pay. I know. This one that you're defending him like this. Do you know him from anywhere? Is it like you guys drink beer together or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we meet in one corner somewhere to go and drink a boracha. You know, all those ones. It's... <sighs> all right, the truth is, I don't know this guy. All right, but I know he always pays you. Come on, you're a testimony. You always get your money every time. He's consistent, right? So this time, if he doesn't pay, his name is at stake. He mm. will. Look, that was then. I need money now. I need to change my nails, change my hair. There's even this bag that I put on hold. The lady keeps messaging me, telling me I need to come and pay. I don't need all this type of harassment. Okay, eat your food. I'll give you the money. Eat your food. Stop worrying yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. You give me the money again. Mm -hmm. I hope this is not one of your pranks to get me to eat. It's not when we go to the room now, you tell me you were just joking. Flora, uh -uh. I'm the one that offered to pay you. Eat your food. On top salary again, eat your food. You'll be fine. I'll give you the money. Baby. Mm -hmm. You know that's why I love you. You always come through for me. Mm -hmm. Your baby. Because mm -hmm. money is important now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love eat you. Eat the food. Eat the food and tell mm -hmm. me how it tastes. I want to know. But baby, see here. Eh? This knowing that you're a better cook than I am is between you and I. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I don't want to hear it in Jane's mouth or, or Ben. And you know that you're a better lover than I am. Your mouth does wonders. Don't let anybody know. I'm just saying. Baby? Ah. Are you in bed already? It's just past 8, baby. Wake up. It's 8 already. 8 a.m. No. no. Calm down. 8 p.m. I just get a living crap out of me. Oh. <sighs> baby, wake up. Wake up. Uh -huh. Wake up now. Wake uh -huh. up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Baby, mm. now, hold on, hold on. I have a very, very hectic day, okay? 
I practically spent about five to six hours in traffic and I still miss my appointment. Uh, the worst part is that I'm repeating the same thing tomorrow. I just need to catch enough sleep so I wake up early and I don't miss my appointment. I need some rest. Please. Uh, sorry, baby. Yeah, thank you, baby. Mm. Don't worry. I won't take much of your time. Thank you, baby. Sit up. Yeah. Sit up. We need to discuss money matters. Didn't you hear what I just said? I said I need to sleep. Look at my eyes. I'm so tired. I'm so drained. Please, let but me sleep. Baby, you know we cannot sleep until we discuss everything regarding end of this month's bill. You know what? Um, I'll make these decisions myself, but definitely not tonight, okay? Let me close my eyes now. Thank Baby, you. nobody is sleeping until we've come to a conclusion. Number one. Why do you always do this to me? Huh? Why well, is it always about my money? Every time I receive salary, you just come up with all this list of bills for me to pay up. See me see Chabulu. Are you not the man of the house? Are you not supposed to be responsible for all the major bills in this house? Yeah, there she goes. What about you? Are you not the woman of the house? And tell me, my wife, when last did you even purchase a pin for this house? Yeah. Eh? Don't you work? I have bills to pay. And yes, I take care of all the small, small things needed in this house. All of them. Uh, Besides, I need money to run my business. Go ahead. List it all. You have bills to pay. You take care of your own personal needs. You need money to run your business. What about me? Don't I have bills to pay? Um, you know what? Now that you brought up this money matter, I see this month there, you and I are splitting bills. Because say, I actually need your assistance. You say what? You heard me right. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with your own money? Well, I'm trying to raise up money for the house. Oh. So because you are trying to raise up money for the house, we should not hear what again, Abby. Eh? You want to split bills with me? How? Where? See, I don't have any money to give anybody to split any bill with anybody. You. I don't have any money. You know what? I knew you were going to say this. Just leave me alone. Let me sleep. Good night. Baby, you cannot sleep now. What? You think I'm joking? I need to sleep. Look at me. My eyes are red. What is wrong with you? That's why you are shouting at me. Now shouting at me because because I'm trying to manage the home. Abby, wake up, baby, wake up. Oh, you think you've won, Abby? Oh yeah, sleep, no problem, sleep. Tomorrow morning we'll come at it again. It's not over. Flora, where are you now? I'm waiting for you. Flora, baby. I'm coming. Where have you been? I want to get a pen to write down the things I want. <clears throat> write down things you want? What are you writing? A list of the things that you're going to buy for me. And I put down the amount so you won't tell me you forgot. <laughs> oh God. One, two, and three. Money, money, money. Flora. <laughs> Flora. Mm -hmm. Nobody can separate you. Nobody. Nobody can separate you from money. I'm glad you know. Nobody, not even I, your husband, can separate you from money. Mm. You and money are like five and six. I should have listened to your father when he said he raised you with money. Do I have the capacity? Then I was forming pilot. Look at me now. You want to dry me. Because no? <laughs> of what? Fresh skin. Mm. Mm. Is it just fresh skin? See, Flora, are you not tired of asking me for money? Baby, mm. you're the love of my life. Mm -hmm. I am never going to get tired of asking you for money. And besides, Kenneth, you promised to pay for these things. So don't come and start changing mouths now. This is your list of nails, hair, and bag. Flora. You didn't let me finish now. Hmm. Okay, Flora. I did not promise you that I was going to do it. I did not say Kenneth, I promised. See, mm -hmm. if you are not going to give me that money, just tell me yes or no. If not, I'll pack my things and go to that guest room. Where you really want to go? I need you. I hold you like glue. Come here. I, I, okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a small plate. Mm. I know, it's a small play. Mm. I, know, I need this body you now. Mm. Baby girl, a small play, I'll give you the money tomorrow. Mm. Why will you give me the money? Mm. Well, you know I don't want to cash in. I know I get to the office in the afternoon. I was wired. Mm. But first, I have to wire you. Mm, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you, you know that's why I love you. I know, I know now. I know. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a pilot with brains now. Uh, uh, uh. You fly me around the of world. Of course, now. I'll pay mm. you for your time. Mm. I'll pay mm. you for your services tonight. Mm. Better make you hot for them.
What is this? Your breakfast. This is my breakfast? Yes, this is your breakfast. Cold pop with no milk or even sugar. Have you tasted it to know if there is milk or sugar? Really? Ben, why are you acting like you don't know that the food stuff and provisions in this house have finished? Babe, as a person to this, as a woman of the house, you cannot make provision for, 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 for milk or sugar. How much are these things? This is so ridiculous. Simply because I refused to have monetary conversations with you last night, you decided to treat me like a slave? Am I some sort of prisoner? How do you know what prisoners eat? Hmm? Have you been to the prison before? Oh, were you convicted for some kind of crime? It's a, this is some sort of joke to you, right? Uh, you think this stunt that you just pulled will make me transfer all my monies to you? Oh, really? <laughs> you want to be headstrong, Abby? It's fine, okay? Whenever you're ready to sort out the bills for this month, let me know. Until then, you will eat whatever my own small contribution can afford. As you can see, we're running late for work, so you better hurry and eat up. Thank you. Babe, are you, are you going just like that? You won't eat your food. Okay, no problem. Sure, you know that it's difficult for some people to find food. Now you see you're doing shakarabi. I don't blame you, it's because I even gave you food to eat. Can you imagine? The audacity. Babe! Please hurry up, I'm getting late. Is this how much you, 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 you get every month? I mean, most of the time, yes. Wow. Wow, wow what, Kenneth? <laughs> I'm telling you I got paid and you're saying wow. Okay, so what do you want me to do? I should dance around, shake my tail feathers for you, jump, or pop a bottle of champagne, would that make you feel better? Hmm? Kenneth, I don't know where this is coming from. Well, I don't know what you want from me. Can we just leave? I want you to be happy for me like you always are. I am happy as I am always kept. Do you want to go or do you want to just keep staring at me? We're late. Yes, you, is there anything else you want to take? Anything I can help you with? Yeah, this is what I need. Kenneth. We're late. What's wrong? Why is she calling me? Yes, hello. Well, how is it going at the office now? I'm fine. Mm. I have baby, before I forget, remember you haven't sent me the money you promised. Flora, are you serious? Are, are you serious right now? You want me to send you money? When you already have your own money, you, you, I mean, you got your salary. Why do you want me to send you money? But a promise is a promise now, can it? No, 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 you can't do this. This is crazy. This is bad behavior, Flora. You got your salary and you're still asking me to send you money. No, no, come on, that's wrong. Please, 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 stop it as in hold it right there. How much is it that you are even using to talk all this nonsense? 
You know what? Forget it. I'll buy what I want with my money. Flor... Babes, one minute ago you were excited. What has changed? Is it not, Kenneth? I don't know what's wrong with that man. One minute his head is functioning right, the next is not. Eh? Remember when they refused to pay me my salary? Mm -hmm. He promised to give me money, right? Mm -hmm. Now they've paid me. Money don't enter voice me. Uh uh. Just like that. No, no. A promise is a promise. Imagine, no. I don't know, and ever since I got my salary a lot, he has just been having this very nasty attitude. Hmm. But has he always been like this? No. He's always been encouraging, he even supports me to spend all the money pampering myself. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's just behaving. I don't know, did I do anything wrong? See, babes, you will need to have a conversation with your husband. Do you know how these men are now? It's just like my husband, Ben. <laughs> I've been trying to ask him for a conversation about how he intends paying this month's bill. Guess what? He's been ignoring me. Totally. And you? Which of the bills are you paying? And what's that supposed to mean? Babe, are you really not going to assist him? Look, whether these men admit it or not, they need our help. Uh -uh. Flora, have you sorted out the issues you have with your husband? Auntie, watch it all. I didn't, as in, I didn't come to this shop to be insulted. M Watch it. Madam, I did not invite you to my shop to be ridiculed. Just now you're telling me how your husband allows you spend your money pampering yourself. Why can't mine doing the same? The fact that I pamper myself doesn't mean I don't contribute. I do little things like buying groceries, mm. toiletries. Sometimes I fix and repair little things here and there. Yeah, she... I'm not just going to sit there doing nothing. Madam Fixer, thank you. But please, allow me treat and handle my husband the way I want to. Okay? I'm just a market woman. Are you savage? Before I call, it's not a market I came to sell here. Giving me marriage advice as if you know better. Oh. So she actually said that? Bro, she actually said that to me. And then she proceeded to hang up on me. My wife. Wow. You know? <laughs> I feel like this thing is getting into our heads. That's why she has the audacity to call my money chicken change. <laughs> oh my god. What's getting into our head actually? Bro, her money. I saw it. I looked at it. They've increased it. No, tripled. They've tripled her money. This lady is making a whole lot of money. From modeling. Wow, wow. Really? Tripled? Hmm. Whoa. I just hope that... I don't know. I'm getting worried. I don't know. I'm just getting worried. The way she's making so much money and the way she's behaving. I hope she doesn't just change towards me. You know, bro, I... I can't disagree with you. Um... You know, women tend to misbehave when they know that they earn more than their husbands. They sort of grow in disrespect and arrogance. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's time I put my foot down. Yeah. I'll tell you what you need to do, okay? Just simply be the man of the house. Be the boss. You're the one that paid her bride price, not the other way around. Now, let me tell you, see, my wife won't bring this sort of nonsense to me. I'll prove it to her through actions. So all you have to do is just be the man of the house, be the boss, and make sure she doesn't disrespect you. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, I need to put my foot down, especially towards Flora. I'm so <laughs> blown away that you can make so much money for modeling. Guy. You should have seen what I saw. How is that possible? There's the manager's cut, there's the agency's cut, there's the taxes. It blew my mind how much they are making. And it's, it sort of makes me wonder why this particular woman, my wife, 
always takes money from me and she doesn't save any. It doesn't make any sense and she's always broke. Tell me what I don't know, Ken. You know what? Now that this has gotten to this, let me just let you on out on what happened this morning. Would you believe my wife served me like a prisoner this morning simply because I refused to transfer 30% of my salary for the month to her account? The funny thing is that she knows my plans for us. She knows why I am saving up and yet she still doesn't want to assist. All she does is take, take, take. You know what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This time around, she's going to get what comes to her. I agree with you 100%. They are all getting what's coming for them, especially Flora. Especially her. Especially Jane. No, 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 no. no. I support you 100%. 100%, bro. Hey, Jane. Jane's shop. You're coming from Jane's shop by this time. So Jane's shop is more important than your husband. So Jane's shop is now your husband's house, right? It's more important than what your husband will eat. I work all day, I work all night, I make it so easy for you to have a wonderful life. And you decide to be in Jane's shop, right? Kenneth, calm down. I'm hungry and I'm tired. You're telling me to calm down. Calm down. This isn't. It hasn't gotten to you raising your voice now. I didn't know you were going to come back before me. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. From now on, you are not permitted to go to Jane's shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And no more philandering without my permission. Do you understand? Hey, <laughs> Kenneth. As in, since when do I have to ask for your permission before I go to Jane's shop or wherever I please? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Since I paid your bride price. Yes, I paid your bride price. Not the other way around. It is your responsibility to take care of me. Okay? It's your responsibility to go into that kitchen and to make something for me to eat. And I'm hungry. So I want... Pounded yam and egusi soup. Okay, sir. Do you want it with chicken or turkey? I, I want goat meat. My love, consider it done. Hmm? I have goat meat in the freezer. Anything else, sir? Do you want me to bring it up to your room? <sighs> this man is looking for my trouble. Goat meat and egusi soup. <laughs> Welcome, baby. Hi, darling. And how was work? Work was fine. How was your day? Good. You came right on time. Oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. All right, sit down. Let me get no, you. No, 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 not yet. Okay, let me just go in fresh enough and I'll be right back. Okay. Come and sit now. Let me serve you concoction rice without protein or vegetables. That's when your eyes will clear. You think you have sense, Abby? Oh, I will show you that I'm wiser. By the time I'm done with you, Ben, you will vomit all the money you've been hoarding since. Alright, babe, so let me get you your. Don't worry. 
Ben, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? Don't answer my question with a question. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Mm, I'm itching. Ben, you bought food for yourself. Mm -hmm. After what you did to me this morning, hmm? Baby, you served me cold and an awfully tasteless breakfast this morning. You know, I, I kind of understand you have your own bills to pay and all that. And all this got me thinking and, you know, about this situation that we have, you and I, where every month that passes by, I get to pay all the major bills and you just take care of your personal needs. And I totally understand, okay? So, I have arrived at a conclusion. Going forward, I'll stop bothering you with any bills at all, be it major bills or whatsoever. So right now you can continue taking care of your personal needs. But I'll also have to take care of mine as well. She can. Huh? <laughs> if you enter your eye, close up. Mm. 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 I'm going to the saloon for my appointment. It's for 7 p.m. You're going to the saloon? It's for 7 p.m. Flora, you're going to the saloon and you did not inform me. Is Maybe. that the agreement we had? Maybe I told you last night that I'd be going to the saloon today. As the man of the house, I declare that you are no longer going anywhere tonight or today, Flora. If you want to do your hair, just order for home service tomorrow. Kenneth, I, I can't even remember the last time I requested for home service. And besides, it costs much more. I'd rather just go there, get my hair done and my nails all at once. So you want to go to the salon so that you can show yourself now that you have arrived. You are a big madam, a big woman. And you have money. More money than anybody has ever seen in this world. You want to go and show yourself. Kenneth, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is very simple. You're not going anywhere. As the man of the house, I will not permit you to go anywhere. Why are you being so petty, Kenneth? Me petty? Yes, I don't know where you've gone to learn this man of the house, man of the house 24-7, but you need to stop it because it's becoming annoying. Watch me stop you. Stop me? Yes. As the man of this house, anything I tell you is the way it's going to go. You must listen to me. You will do what I tell you to do. Kenneth, I'm not disputing that you're the man of the house. It's just you keep shoving it down my throat. And being offensive towards me, it's intolerable in this house. I shall not permit it. Not under my roof that I, 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 I bought. And, and you will do as I say. You must, everything I tell you to do, you will do it. Kenneth, I cannot always do as you say. I'm your wife, not a slave. And I am your husband, the man of this house. Okay? Anything I say, my word is final. Listen, my word is final. I'm going upstairs. Can you do your hair tomorrow? Okay. Until I poison you, that's when you need it.
I'm sorry. I think I was wrong. You think? Okay. I realized I was wrong. I overreacted. And I am deeply sorry. You know, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. I have never ever asked you to split monthly bills with me before. This is just the first time and you declined. See, babe. I should have just listened to you when you suggested it. It's not like it would have been much of a problem for me to help. So if it wasn't a problem, then why then didn't you help me? I'm your husband. I was just scared. I didn't want this to be a continuous thing where you'd ask me to split the bills. You know, so... No, that wasn't going to happen, my dear, okay? It was not my intention to ask you to keep on splitting the bills continuously or whatnot. I just... I, I just needed you to help me this one. See, babe, listen, I, I, I set up a monthly target, all right? And somehow I couldn't meet up my earnings. I had a minor setback. And I just needed your help. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I underrated you. See, I, I don't want to start what I won't be able to finish. And I felt like if I started it, I was going to be put in a trap, you know? And then it will continue like that. No one's trapping anyone, okay? And I will always keep paying the bills. Thank you for the thing. <laughs> You're welcome. So am I forgiven? Mm -hmm. You realize your mistake, so who am I not to forgive? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Come here. Mm. What now? You bought food for yourself, you didn't buy for me. <laughs> She better tell you she's not into your eye. See, it's, eh? not, your eye, she it's it. not a joke. Stop playing. I'm not playing, but you entered your eye now. I wanted to talk to you. He did not just enter my eye. Mm. He entered my ear. He entered my nostrils. He, entered, he destabilized my senses, babe. The aroma of that food. I even came to sit down close to you. You didn't even give me. You were just tearing the chicken in my front like this. You're a wicked dude. <laughs> Sorry, no. I wanted to pepper you a little bit. It's not fair. Okay, see, um... I apologize, um, and I promise when I go out tomorrow, I'll buy you something really, really sumptuous. With chicken. Way more than that one. With chicken. Chicken peri peri. Lap that is big like my own. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I have to go see Flora. Okay. Ah, I had an argument with her earlier on, and mm. I feel uneasy about it, so let me go make that up. So you want me to give you a ride? No, I'll be fine. Okay, it's a safe ride. Thank you, baby. You always look like you. Have you said it? Yes, it's my bag. Uh, I love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Jane, she's already outside. You're not going anywhere until you do exactly as I told you to do. Well, I will do it, but just, just let me talk to her first. Be considerate, Kenneth. I insist, Flora, you must do it first. Okay? I'm not, you're not going anywhere. You must do the dishes first. Why are you acting like this, Kenneth? Look, Jane and I had a disagreement earlier today, and I'm sure she's here to talk about it. Why exactly are you even trying to stop me from seeing her? I'm, 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 as in, am I your prisoner? Or your I don't care. Her? I just don't care. All right, you would do exactly as I told you to do what to do, everything I told you to do. Wash the dishes you have not done. This is exactly the problem I have with you. You like to have things your way. Flora, well, no more, okay? You would do the dishes or you're not going anywhere, all right? But we always take turns, Kenneth. Not anymore. You're doing this to get at me, right? You're trying to get me mad, right? I don't care. Just do as I say. I'm the man of this house. Okay. I know this was my foot. Hey, you're going to, where are you going to? Where are you going to? To do the dishes. Sorry for the delivery. I can't leave that thing, Jerry. 
Sifera, I actually came here to apologize to you for earlier. I know I overreacted and I just want to say I'm sorry. Apology accepted, mm. big Madame Jane. <laughs> Besides, I feel like I had no right to tell you how to foot the bill in your own house again. No, you were only trying to be a good friend. Uh. <laughs> I sure meant no harm. I know. How is it going between you and Yoga? Ah, my sister. We have settled all. Mm. Ah, we had to. Do you know that Ben showed me a different side of him that I've never seen? An entirely different side. Will you believe me if I tell you that? He came back home, bought food from outside, sat in front of me and ate all of it without offering me anything. Ben the writer. Ben the writer. He even went ahead to say that he wants us to split bills from now on. He will handle his and I'll handle mine. Oh, hello. Nobody tell me you have to <laughs> my house immediately because how am I supposed to survive in this Lagos financially without my husband? Ha. Ah. Yeah, I'm glad he put you in your place. So. Uh, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how about your darling Kenneth? How are you guys doing? Huh. Mm. It's honestly getting worse. Kenneth has become this person I can't even recognize. He's being so cruel to me. Are you serious? <sighs> you know what you do? You have a decent conversation with him. Make sure you drill him so that he can tell you everything you need to know. Babe, I have tried. Kenneth literally wants total control over my life. Can you imagine I wanted to go out to fix my nails, change my hair? He said no. Uh -uh. As a man of the house, you are not going anywhere. Sit down inside the house, my decision is final. I'm, I'm telling you all, he said I should request for home service. He's just, he's just being a complete tyrant. I don't know what's happening to my Kenneth. Is it that bad? But I thought he was happy for you when you got this gig. I don't know. Me too. I thought he was happy. I just I wonder what changed. I'm shy. See, just try and make peace with him. Mm -hmm. You have to settle with him this night. It must not pass tonight. Too. I'll try. Not just try. You have to try hard. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll allow him sleep over it. Maybe that his big head will cool down after sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just try. Mm -hmm. I wish you good luck. I got to go before my August starts to pause my phone like say I'm on loss. He will tell you if you don't come back by this time, <laughs> you will sort your, you will sort your, your full money. You never born away. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. I don't want to be late for this meeting. So what happens to the dishes when I'm done? I'll clear it when I'm back. Well, I want you to clear the dishes after I'm done. Before you leave. But you're not even halfway done, Kenneth! Then you just have to wait. Okay? Kenneth, are you serious this morning? Does it look like I'm joking? <sighs> Kenneth, you know what? Please, please, please. I can't deal with this, your attitude and this whole thing this morning. I, I need to be at this meeting. I don't know. Find some excuse to give your boss. Tell him it was traffic. Kenneth, don't be rigid and inconsiderate. Don't insult me. I am not insulting you. I need the key to go. I need to be at this meeting. You just have two weeks till I'm done. Some of them in the pots if you want to eat. What is it? 
That's a query letter from my boss. And whoever gets this query letter is most likely to be fired. And I'm obviously in that basket because of you. I mean, can you just imagine a model without a representation or a management? I'd be priced so poorly. Why did he give you a query letter? Oh, you're asking me, huh? You're asking me why he gave me a query letter. Is it not because of your stunts this morning of wait till I finish eating before you can? I obviously missed the meeting because of you. Are you happy now? I want to ask you, are you happy now, sir? I didn't know it was gonna come to this. Well, it has come to this. I warned you, Kenneth. Kenneth, I could lose my job. We're meeting new clients. Oh, wow. So your boss can actually fire you for being late. Okay. Well, just so you know, you're not the first and you definitely won't be the last. So he'll be fine. I warned you, but you never listened to me. Why are you so stuck in your ways? Okay, why exactly did you pull that stunt this morning? Give me an explanation. You had better start talking about it all. As in, you better start talking about it. If I scream this office down. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that you earned such a large amount of money as a salary? Flora. Kenneth, what are you talking what? about? You've always known how much I earn. Oh my God, please, can you not just play dumb with me? Please, I beg of you, don't do that. Don't. I've never been private to such an, an amount of money as a salary for you on a regular basis. I've never known about that. You've never told me. You always act like you're broke. I work so hard to provide the best for you. So hard. And not once have you said, hey baby, just take it slow. I'll take care of you. I'll do this for you. Never, not once. I feel deceived. Do you know how it feels like to check your phone and I see 3.4 million naira as your salary? Come on. How do you expect me to feel? Kenneth, why didn't you ask me? I mean, my agency is run very differently from how your company is run. Every month is a different pay. And obviously this month I did a lot of high paying jobs, which is why my salary was so much. Why do you think I was so eager to collect my salary? Huh? I'm sorry, I was wrong. I assumed wrongly. You assumed, Kenneth? Stop making assumptions about things you're not certain of. Look at what your assumption is going to cost me. I, I, I did ask you. I did ask you. I said, is this something you earn on a regular and I basis? Sa I said most of the time, not all the time. Well, what do you expect me to do? I assumed that... I expect you to ask me, Kenneth. I'm your wife. Ask me. I'm sorry, I was just... Jealous? Well, not really, just... I was afraid that the money was going to change you. So I just wanted to make a point, like prove that I was the man of the house. And I was clearly knowing I was stupid. So your ego was dented. Baby, you're always going to be the man of the house. Whether I'm being paid 10 million or 20,000, that doesn't change anything. Does it change that you're my man? It doesn't change a thing, honey. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I won't do that again. And I promise to talk to your boss. You will not be fired. And you're definitely drinking beer with him. <laughs> forgive you, baby. Mm, I love you so much, baby. And I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. As long as you've learned your lesson. And this is the end of making assumptions. At least you share that salary with me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, different story. Now, the love not reach that level, have you? <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Don't worry, honey. I'll just stop taking so much of your money. I'm really, I'm really sorry for this. Oh, please. Don't scatter my hair, Kenneth. I can't 
believe this is really happening. <sighs> They didn't even have time to clear up anything. What that means is that you have a lot of work to do to clean this place up thoroughly. Excuse you? What do you mean I have thorough cleaning to do here? Are we not moving into this apartment together? Yeah. Exactly. That means we are doing the cleaning together. Oh, really? <laughs> so when I have to move all our load and the boxes and everything that we are moving from our former place, are you going to be there to help me? Baby, stop threatening me now. I'm not threatening you. Look, the only attitude I want us to be exhibiting now is gratitude because we have a big family! <laughs> Look at this one. Come, 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 come. Before you start joyificating and moving from one place to another, let me just remind you. Please, please, and please, do not convert all the rooms in this apartment into your own personal space. Baby, stop now. Don't. I thought we agreed that I will have a room to myself. Exactly my point. Just one room. One. Whatever. Anyways, I think we should have a housewarming party. You know, mm. invite Kenneth and Flora and any other person my darling husband wants us to invite. Sounds like a pretty much yes. awesome idea. But that is after you... Um, I'm sorry, after you and I fix this place up. Then no one you well to not have corrected yourself. Because guess what? I would have given you cold pack. Cold one? You must have behaved yourself. Wait, let, me, let me call Flora and give her the Well, I'm just going to look upstairs and see what's going on here. Yeah? Oh, God. Oh, let's see. <laughs> what exactly are you talking about, Kenneth? What do you even mean? What do you even mean? You want me to tell you? Isn't it obvious? Well, if it was obvious, we wouldn't be standing here having this argument. We're talking about five million naira, Kenneth. Five million, it's huge. It's huge. Well, it is. It is. No, I'm not going to allow you to do a photo shoot nude for some front magazine cover for no matter how much it is. Never. It's my job, It's Kenneth. your job. Well, there's a lot of jobs you can pick from, all right? Kenneth, you see this ego of yours? Uh. It keeps raining on my parade. I mean... Besides, what's the big deal? The big deal there's like a hundred million men, Nigerian men, that's gonna have free access to my wife's nude. I will not allow that. You are mine, and no other man is gonna have access to your, to your body. Just me. Alright, so pick another one. I don't care how many millions of naira they pay you. It's not gonna happen. That's an exaggeration, Kenneth. And besides, I'm not a child that you can order around in this house. I am your wife. Oh, you're not a child that can order around, but you are my wife. And I paid your bride price. So I'll tell you what to do, and you're not going to do any nude photo shoot. I will not allow that into this house or in this family. How much did you even pay? You are screaming 24-7. I paid your bride price. How much? 100 naira. Because my father had pity on you. Whether he had pity or not, it doesn't matter. The point is that you are my responsibility right now. You're my wife, and I say no nude photo shoots. You know what I'm going to call him? I will what? call him. I'm, no, we'll call, we'll, I'll call him. We'll talk. You can call him and say, Papa, I want to do nose photo shoot. I want to open my bomb bomb. And for his big money, it's huge. Five million, I will give you 10%. Let's see whether he'll do it. Can I stop being petty? Well, I'm, really, I'm really serious about this. I'm being very serious. It's Ben. Yeah, hello. Ben. Ben, just hold on. I'll, I'll call you back. I'm in the middle. What? Tell him you're in the middle of an argument. Okay. All right, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Send the, send the details, man. Guy, congratulations. Okay, all right. Later, bye. Did you say they bought a new house? Oh, why are you talking to me? Ah, this big madam Jane. She has been wanting to move. Finally. Anyways, anyways. They got a new house and they're inviting us for housewarming. They want us to have lunch with them. Ah! So I better go dress something nice. Finally, Jane has been waiting for this moment. When? When are we going for the house yeah, for me? When? And she's not even a model. Anyways, you're not doing anything for the shoot, and that's final. I'm the man of the house. So let's just go and get this thing sorted out. Kenneth, that photo shoot is happening whether you want it to or not. I will not. be your photographer. I will I'll take you nude. And I'll I'm going to take those pictures. And I'll put the... You don't here, don't test me. Don't your bride price. Don't all test you want, me. But I'm going to take off my clothes, don't and you're going to take pictures of me. Click. Come here, don't, don't touch me. me. Don't test me. Why 
really wow. good. Wow! Yes! Beautiful! <laughs> you know, I would never have pegged this place as number one choice for you and that rascal. <laughs> well, yo, Ben! Ben decided to... Yo, 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 Congratulations! Yo, yo, yo. Mom, <laughs> Mom, Mom, congratulations, man. Yeah, thank this you, man. Is Good. Amazing, right? This is good. Yeah. Come here for it. Can't believe you beautiful. inherited this. Uh, yeah, this beautiful piece. <laughs> <laughs> and before we forget, we got you guys a housewarming gift. Oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> a picture frame and wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. It was Ken's <laughs> choice. <laughs> Thank you. I tried. I tried. <laughs> now, please, can my brother have some food? I am famished. Sure. <laughs> this hey, way. I hope you considered my diet plan. Why not? There is salad for you, babe. Perfect. I, I need to give you diet. You have to look at yourself. Not now, not now. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Thank you. Honey, this looks really, really mm. good. I am so famished, I cannot wait. Mm. Jane, look at how small this salad is. <laughs> there is more. Okay. Jane the Jane. <laughs> All right, guys, knock yourself out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how did you see the deal for this house? Did you pay fully for the house with Red, or you had some kind of um, agreement with him? Well. Actually, we did have an agreement, mm. but the funny thing is, my wife and I were not considering it at first. Mm. But then Fred decided to call in and say he was still in need of a buyer, and we decided to take it. <laughs> I could not believe he was still talking to Fred, after all they did to us. Mm -hmm. But I'm certain that's water under the bridge now. Mm -hmm. You see this, my wife? She sure knows how to keep a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. That's why I and Lydia were best friends. Look, I'm not like that anymore. Mm. Yes, so I no longer do do me, I do you. <laughs> oh. Wow. At least someone is becoming mature. Kenneth? Hmm? What exactly is that supposed to mean? What? You think I don't see the, sh the shade that you are throwing around, huh? What, what shade? Um, what kind of shade? This place looks very shady to me already. What are you talking about? Guys, guys, is everything okay? Please ask my wife. Or... Ask your wife? Yes, my what? wife. Ask her. What are you talking about? Ask your wife Ask what? You. Tell them. Oh, you want me to tell them? I'll tell them. My wife wants to do a photo shoot naked. What? In front of a camera. A naked photo shoot. That's what they call it these days. Naked photo shoot. My wife. And because I said no, she has decided to starve me. Food wise, otherwise. Starve me. Me. Flora. Since when did you start doing naked shoots? Please ask her. Ask Can her. anybody just calm down, please? I wouldn't have considered this in the past, but the pay that they're offering is... is a lot. How much is it? Five million for two hours. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is huge. I rejected from my... We would shoot. I rejected... Rejects, rejects. Uh, um, but babe... If money is not a problem for both of you, then you can turn it down. Money is not a problem because I work my ass off to give her the best. The absolute best in life. Just look at that glass skin. My money. She could have chosen any other contract, but no. No. She wants that one. Pride is what is worrying my, my, my wife. Pride? Pride, yes. Kenneth, you are the proud one. Mm. You know what you're so scared of? You're so scared of me making that much money. Me? What you really want to protect is your ego. That's what you're protecting. Flora, I'm disappointed. That's a lie. That is a lie. I am simply protecting my property. Your property? My property. This is my property. Aww. Yes, I don't want people to see my property naked. Have, have you taken a good look at yourself? Do you know what you have? I know what I married. I know what I married. I do not want my property out there. My property, my pride. That's so sweet. Um, hey, okay, guys, take a chill pill, all right? Um, Flora, in as much as I really do not want to take sides, I'm afraid I have to go with Kenneth on this one. God bless you, my dear friend. Okay. This doesn't really sound like a very decent job, no matter the pay. Well, obviously, you've taken his side. But you know what? Flora is not the topic of discussions today. Let's eat. Oh. 
Let's focus on eating. Imagine when your ass is out there. Kenneth. Just eating. See, and babe. Me, I'm not going to listen to Kenneth though. I'm going to have that photo shoot whether or not he wants it. <sighs> Flora. How are you even comfortable being naked in front of another man? Babe, I'm talking about the famous photographer. This guy has photographed the likes of Naomi Campbell, Winnie Harlow, Eva Mendes. Look, I'm not going to pretend I don't know these names you're calling. But think about it, Flora. Is it worth putting a strain on your marriage? What about the strain it's going to put on my career? I mean, this could be a big break for me. Babes, I know how Kenneth feels. Now, imagine you in his shoes. How would you feel? Hmm? So you really want me to just miss this opportunity, huh? My darling, you're a very beautiful and talented model. Many more opportunities will present itself, okay? Just trust me. Uh-uh. Isn't -uh. on you again. I want to go and pose naked. Take off. You know the feel. She's gonna try and do something. I know. She's gonna try, sneak, and find a way to get that naked photo shoot done. Anytime she sets her mind to do something, she just has to do it. She's stubborn as a mule. She's ridiculous. I don't know why she does that thing all the time. You know, Ken, sometimes people just want to go out of their comfort zone to get things done. And at times, they could be blind to the consequences. Maybe you should just let her go. Perhaps no. she might learn a lesson or two. No just way. saying. No way. No way. Not my wife. What happens when those naked photo shoot pictures come out and then we have kids? Or maybe her parents sees them. What next? Okay, what if she decides that she wants to do it anyway? Are you going to stop her? Are you going to strap her to a chair? No, maybe I should strap myself to a chair. I, I, I'm not following. Oh yeah, maybe I should strap myself to a chair. How? Think about it. What if, say, something were to happen to me? She wouldn't be able to go out. She'll be stuck in the house with me and then she can't do the photo shoot. Think about it. You think that will work? That will work. This girl's... So, what are the boys discussing? We were talking about the house. Football. Yeah, uh, the house and the football. And how to play football in the house. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, what were you girls uh, <clears throat> talking about in the kitchen, my darling? Hmm? It's for the girls alone. That's for the girls? Really? Mm hmm That's how it is now. You can't tell me what you girls talked about. Why, why is it so much secret? What are you hiding? What do you want to do next? What's your plan? Huh? Mm -hmm. It's time for us to go home. Let's leave. Let's go home. All right. I'm just talking to Ben. You can, you can go home. You want to take a cab? I'll meet you home. Oh. So it's like that now, huh? Yeah, it's like that now. Huh? But Kenneth, you drove her here. It's only right that you take her back home. Oh. Well, I'm busy with your husband, and I'm still talking to him, so she can decide to wait. But she can take a cab. Anyone she wants. Fine. Fine. I'll take a cab. Yeah, take a cab. And see you at home. See you at home. My home. No, no, wait for me. I'll get a cab for you. Take care. Please do that before she gets lost. That's not very nice of you. Bro, you need to take it slow. Hmm? If there's anything I need right now, it's fast. Do you need something stronger? I do. It's like fast. Whiskey? With my wife. I don't want whiskey. She just drives me crazy. She's so annoying. Every single time. I'm gonna strap myself on the chair. Okay. Yeah. The chair it is. The chair it is. Hello? Hey. <laughs> the best 
booking manager in town. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I wanted to let you know that I won't be able to do the job. No, no, you have to tell them. I wouldn't know what to say. I know, I'm sorry. They'd increase the pay. I mean, but still, Kenneth doesn't want me to do it. You know what, just, that's fine. Just tell them I won't be able to do it. Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm certain you'll find someone even better than me. Yeah, I'm just so tired. All right. Bye. Hey Ben. What? What do you mean by he was involved in an accident? Oh, so where are you guys now? Okay, I'm coming. should be leaving now. If you need anything, please do not hesitate to call my number. Please. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank it's you. okay. But I honestly wished you had told me sooner. I mean... We just did not want to scare you. I mean, but I found out eventually, didn't I? And look at him. What do I do? Yeah, before I forget... <sighs> doctor's prescription. Be present at all times in case he needs support. Good food every four hours. Nice massages. Are you certain this is from the doctor? Of course. I, I was equally as baffled as you are now. But um, yeah. No drugs at all? No, except if he experiences any pain, then he's allowed to take some pain reliever. <sighs> so, uh, let me be going. Please call me if you need anything, alright? Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Bro. Mm. Strong, okay? Mm. Baby. like this. I really don't know how to break this to you. Ken was involved in the mask. What? How? What? Is he okay? Is he alive? Of course he's alive. He sustained a few injuries here and there, but it's fine. <sighs> how exactly did it happen? He was heading home and um, his car broke down. So he called a mechanic to take his car for repair. And then he had to use a taxi. Apparently the taxi driver lost his coordination and got into a ditch. Christ! Thank God he's alive. But why did he take a taxi now? Eh? And why did he decide to have an accident on the day they came to our house? I hope this is not a bad sign. No? Babe, not everything is superstition, okay? Car breakdowns do happen. Every day, if I might add. And today just happens to be for Ken. I'm sure he had no choice <coughs> but to take a taxi. Let me call Flora. I'll advise you whether or not. They need some time to cool off. Need some time to cool off? Only God knows what she's going through right now. She's my friend. I have to console okay, her. Babe, I'm not saying you shouldn't console her. I'm saying call her tomorrow. By then, they would have had time to process the situation. Okay? <sighs> This is so scary. I just hope he's okay. Babe. Yeah. Let's see. I'm beginning to think 
you should get yourself a life assurance policy. Because if you get involved in an accident and die, what will happen to me? Excuse me? Are you wishing me dead? No, no. I'm not wishing you dead, but no one knows what the future holds. Who would have believed Kenneth would be involved in an accident? Eh? I'm just trying to be safe. Oh. Well, in that case, maybe you and I should get life assurance. I mean, because if anything happens to you, I would need to be compensated too. <laughs> but you're the man of the house now. Really? Are you not the woman of the house? Well, maybe men die first now. Yeah, uh, men mm. die first. Mm. In your village, it's only men that they used to kill. First. First. Let me tell you something. Women are the ones that know how to save all this monthly, monthly pension, life assurance, everything. So it's, you're in a better position to save for it. Mm -hmm. Go and apply. Baby, you know that I will not die now. When we apply for life assurance, so I don't want to be stranded now when you now die. Kenneth, should I call Flora? My love, I'm not okay. I'm just glad I survived. Goodness, honey. <sighs> the devil is a liar. Ah, God, you saved me. Oh. You saved me. Ah. You know what? Let's pray, honey. Let's pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you, oh Lord, for saving my husband from this accident that could have taken his life, Jesus. You have come and you have saved us once again, King of Glory. Amen. I praise your holy name. Amen. May you protect his going out and his coming in in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that he shall live a very long and fulfilling and fruitful life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You, you, uh. Are you okay? <sighs> so what just, can I say? Uh, uh, baby, just rest easy, easy, now. easy, easy. Goodness. I don't know why his car had to break down, Jane. And I'm just starting to feel like if we didn't have any issues, all of this could have been avoided. I honestly regret leaving him at your place. Clara, stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. You should actually be thankful that you didn't wait behind and follow him. Otherwise, both of you would have been involved in the accident. You're right, too. God knows best. Exactly. God knows best, okay? Don't worry. He'll be fine. Huh? How is he doing? Right now, he's, he's sleeping and he looks like he's heavily sedated. Hi, Kenneth. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. I'm wondering what is going to happen to his business, especially now that he can't go to work for now. Honestly, I don't even know. I'm sure everything would have to be put on hold or maybe uh, pushed back. I just... <sighs> or maybe I should take that job again. What job? Wait, the naked modeling job? Oh, babe, they're willing to pay a lot. And besides, uh, Kenneth and I would use that money at this point when he's at home doing nothing. I don't know. I don't want to be the one to give you bad advice. So what should I do now? Should I just sit at home and do nothing? Kenneth doesn't even know when he's going to be back on his feet and working again. As we speak, babe, you could be losing money, literally. When is the gig? It's tomorrow. Actually, I should be calling my agents to... That's if the job is even still available. <laughs> hmm, what now, Jane? Who's going to take care of your husband while you're away? And where, where will you tell him you're going to? Have you thought about that? I mean, I... I should be gone for like two hours max. That's if, if it even takes that long. Kenneth should be able to manage on his... Or you could take care of mm -mm. him for me. Mike! Mm. Ah, Jane, now, who else could I ask? And besides, you just tell him maybe I went to the supermarket or something. I mean, I don't know. You can't be putting me in this kind of tight spot now. Jane, now. 
Please, I don't have anyone else to ask. What do you want me to say? Look, I, 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 you won't even notice I'm gone. You just sit down there and watch him, and before you know it, I'll be back. Just like that. Ha! This one is hard, though. Please, now. Okay. It's Flora that says she, she wants to go for that shoe so that she can assist Kenneth. What are you talking about? It's not me. She only asked me to watch after her husband for two hours so that she can go for the shoot. Oh, so Flora still insists on going for a shoot while her husband sits all alone recovering from his accident? Yes. You know what? I think I need to call Kenneth. <laughs> don't, what? Don't, don't tell him I was the one that told you. Please. No, no, no. See, listen. If you hadn't spilled the beans, all this would have been for nothing. All what? Ben. Wait. Ben. When you came downstairs shouting my name, what was that for? Babe, I saw what you posted on Facebook. Oh, that. I was, I was going to talk to you about it tonight. Really? Yeah. After you might have sold half of our furniture. Come on, baby. These aren't exactly our furnitures. Yeah. Besides, I think this place needs some redecoration. Plus, there are still personal items here that we need to send to them. Babe, babe, listen. I know it's your duty to ensure that our house is beautiful and presentable. Okay. But you also need to remember that when it comes to redecoration, it's my money you'll be spending. Okay? And that's exactly why you need to inform me first. Well, I thought you wouldn't mind. Well, I do mind. And for the record, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this furniture. So we won't be changing anything. We're keeping it. Always opposing, opposing. Can't you just go with the flow for once? Because we keep all furniture in this house because it's your money. Yeah, bro, what's up? Yeah, um, while well, I do, your wife is still going for that shoot. Yes, my wife just spewed their plans now, so I decided to update you. Okay, bro, later.
Well, luckily he's asleep. Is he getting any better? No, my sister. This is how he has been sleeping from morning till night. Yeah, I feel for him. You know what? Hurry, go. Go. So that you can come back on time. I'll watch for him. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions when he wakes up. Just take care of him. I will. I will. Hurry, hurry. Hey, my friend. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you think you're going to? Baby, we, I was going to the supermarket. Yes, supermarket. To get groceries. Why don't Jane go and you stay, my darling wife? Uh, uh, I, would, would she? You think I don't know your plans, eh? <laughs> you think I don't know your plans? Well, let me let it make it clear to you right now. Ben told me everything. Ben? Ben did what? No. Yes. See. I may have mistakenly told Ben, but I didn't know he was going to tell Kenneth now. My friend, would you give me that key right now? Maybe I was only car. going out give to me my key. us. Give me this key, Jai. Uh, Kenneth, how come you, did, wait, did, did you just walk? Uh, oh, oh. I thought you said he couldn't walk properly. Oh my God, my leg, I must have forgotten, it's the adrenaline. Which stupid adrenaline, Kenneth? So, so you've been pretending all this while, eh? You see, I'm certain he did this to prevent me from going to that shoot. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'm sorry. It was one of the only things I could do strong enough to make you stay. Can you Kenneth! That's so unfair. What sort of sick joke was that? I almost had a heart attack. Kenneth! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't... You know, and I'm certain Ben had a hand in this. No, 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 no. Not my Ben. Ben had a hand in it, okay? Ah, <gasps> Ben. Yeah. She was a huge fan too. I loved the idea. Mm. Yeah. Kenneth! I'm, I'm so sorry. I just didn't want you to go for that new photo shoot. But I wasn't going to go. I was going to go now just because we needed money. You weren't going to go. Well, you said you didn't want me to go, so I changed my mind. Oh, baby, you listened to me. Oh, baby, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to protect us. Ben! <laughs> You don't want to pick at me? No problem. What is it? What, what's wrong? Why are you asking me what is wrong like you don't know? Jane! Come on, open this door, I beg. So you can walk. Calm down. It's a miracle. Calm down. It's a miracle. Baby, you, you can use the keys now. Ben is going to be alright. See what he just calls. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. Jane is going to give, give him. <laughs> <laughs> Pretender! 